so bright out here. <laughs> so we, the battery alarm's been going off at two and three o'clock in the morning. It's not holding a charge anymore. So we went and picked up some new batteries. We're gonna get those changed and then we're gonna get on to the build. hard to lift those up and put them in. I'd say they probably weigh 40 pounds each-ish. Maybe closer to 30, I don't know. Thank you, girl. We got the batteries in, so that makes a huge, huge difference. Hopefully I'll get some sleep and I won't be so grumpy. <laughs> yes, we all pray for that. <laughs> so we think the fireplace um, has uh, the flute or the, like we can't choke it and unchoke it. So we're going to pull out the directions. I'm gonna sit and read for a while and try to figure this out because we need some heat. It's pretty cold. I got a lot of ice right here. I need to put the ice right down. I really love that this new door is in, the sliding glass door. It makes a huge difference. Come check it out. Now we just got to figure out how to do our little tunnel so over there. I have some ideas. We'll see if they work. Who knows? It'll probably be summer and warm by the time we figure it out and we won't need that there. But I need to grab the... Oh, we did have one fall down. I saw that this morning. But other than that, the other one stayed fairly well. So we'll re-glue that one and uh, get it pushed up there better. We found these directions the other day, the book. Up. All right, I'm not seeing anything easy, so I'm definitely going to have to read. <laughs> we'll bring you back after I figure it out.
I should have locked the gates I should have thrown away the key And I'd be fine with this To be the end for you and me I've been under your spell. I flush it out to see. Seeing a way to access this. The, the book is not showing this one, it's kind of showing something else. And this is internal. So it's inside here, but you can't really access it. I don't see a way to access this damper unless it's pull all of this off and look in there, which is our next step. Because <laughs> I think that's probably the only way you can access the damper. Thank so you. let's do that. So this pipe, I think, has to go out the wall to bring in to draft the air and help it make it so the smoke goes out the top. Um, so if you guys have dealt with a stove like this and you know, please look, comment below, let me know. I'm going to go back and try to do some more reading on insulation, see if we need to drill a hole and get a pipe going out that direction. Randy and Darla didn't really know. They hadn't seen one like this. So, um, our biggest problem that we're having is when we start it, we can't control the temperature as far as choking it down and having a smaller burn. And um, it's just a huge flame all the time. And all the smoke is wanting to come out the front. So, I know some of that has to do with the cold and the draft, but it is drafting up and out really well as far as the smoke coming out like it's supposed to. Um, so we're gonna start a fire, see what it does. I did replace the plug that's in the bottom that I had pulled out. So that may just actually be our issue is that it's getting too much air um, in it. So we're gonna start a fire and see how it does. I've been under your spell. Say hi, little girl. Hi, my little girl. In was uh, open, open, but was out or closed. But it does seem like it's pulling and going that way now, which is good. learning curve of never really having a fireplace it's still the fire's still going got the door cracked a tiny bit to bring in the air supposedly if you crack that it'll help get you going so 
we've got a pretty good clean. I do know that when everything is cold, the smoke does not want to go up, which is why they say start with little pieces and, and then build it up. Warm up your pipe and then your, uh, it this way? Oops. And then your smoke will go out instead of coming out the front. And that may be our issue because it's really not coming out the front anymore. And the fire's really nicely. <laughs> what do you think of that door, Chloe? Justin? It's kind of warm. You can chicken watch? You can chicken watch? Huh? That's a fun game. Huh? That's a fun game. Oh, now it's going nice. Get it started and get the door closed until everything warms up. I mean, I think that'll make a difference with, you know, the smoky atmosphere. <laughs> Should be getting bigger. But I can't access the uh, damper at all to make sure it's hooked up. It's all internal on this one. So, really nothing I can do with that. This is terrible. It's okay, it's okay. The living room, minimum the living room. So the goal for today was to figure out what was going on with the wood stove and insulate this downstairs area. We're not doing the roof because I think we're doing something different with that and heat rises so the floor, we want the floor to be heated um, on it. So we're gonna quickly try to do that and then be done for the day because we got some other errands away from the farm that we need to do. So let's try to get this done. You know what guys it's really cold so i think i'm calling it a day because i'm now getting grumpy <laughs> and it's no fun to film when you're grumpy so come back tomorrow we're gonna finish this insulation 
We're going to finish getting some stuff done. Hopefully we've got the wood stove figured out, but it's not on. So it is probably negative degrees in here. Um, and we don't need to work in this. So we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out. We appreciate you. Bye. Um, is has a <laughs> cameraman down <laughs> has a oops. Did you push me? Oh, I heard you <laughs> Are you dizzy yet? <laughs> I am. <laughs> Hi. Let's go fix the fireplace because <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> That's so funny.